Corey Erdman here with Don McDonald, the head of United Promotions. And Don, you have another big event coming up December 1st yeah. at the Hershey Center. You know, there was a time when the only shows going on were at Casino Rama and people were really concerned about the, the state of boxing in Ontario. Yeah. It seems to be thriving right now. Yeah, I, boxing is growing at an extremely fast rate. Uh, you know, just slated for January of next year, there's 15 new pros that are going to be getting their license. So I'm, I'm completely happy. It's actually getting easier to promote professional boxing in Ontario than it was 10 years ago. So I'm quite happy about that. And as I understand it, tickets moving incredibly well once again at yeah. the Hershey Center. There seems to be seems to be a buzz about these events in the Mississauga yeah. area. You know, there was a time where between two shows would be completely dead, but our phone is continually ringing. Uh, emails are constantly coming in and corporations are getting involved and our December 1st show we're expecting close to 6,000 people at this event so I'm blown away this is gonna be a fun night it's gonna be great there have been now a lot of successful events at the Hershey Center yes. but still when you talk to promoters in Ontario they always tell you and sometimes it can be a nightmare to work with the Commission yes. what have been some of the hurdles for you in getting these shows off the ground <laughs> Well, the, the cost to put on a professional boxing event in Ontario is, is quite extreme. Uh, the, the Ontario sanctioning body um, and the commission are very strict at, at what they do. Uh, to match a fight becomes extremely difficult. You know, typically in boxing, you take a young prospect, you build them up, you pick the right fighters. Well, unfortunately, you know, we're only given that latitude for one or two fights. And then after that, you feel like you have to actually put them right into deep water and it's trying to find the right opponent so that the fans are entertained, the boxer learns, and, and we're able to build stars. So it really narrows the playing field. It becomes very expensive, and uh, right to the end of the night, you're, you're matching fights. It, it's, it, it definitely is difficult. And as I understand it, you have to almost put up uh, the the amount of the purse yeah. in a, in before yeah. you actually pay out the purse, right? So you essentially have to have the amount of money you need twice. Well, no, that actually has changed. It used to be uh, about a year and a half ago, you would have to give all the the purse money up front uh, 60 days before the event, then you got it back 60 days after the event. Right. But on the night, you have to pay the fighters still. And it's used as a security for the fighters because a lot of times down in the U.S., fighters go out and fight, and then uh, when they go to collect the money, the promoter says, I don't have any money. Yeah. So in Ontario, I, I don't mind that rule. So right now, what we have to do is uh, 20 days before the fight, we have to provide money orders for each one of the fights, and on the night the government pays for it. So it's not too bad, but still, it is an inconvenience sometimes, for well, sure. Well, things still going well despite that, but yes. I, I think everyone would still say that Quebec is still oh. the hotbed in Canada when it comes to boxing. What could Ontario and Ontario, the commission, the promoters, what could they learn from what's going on in Quebec to improve what's going on here? Well, I, I think a lot of it has to do with trust. Um, I think the Ontario Commission has to trust uh, the promoters that have been in boxing for, for a long time. If, if we put in a bad fight, then we're not going to sell tickets. So the fights that we present to the Commission, we feel are the best fights. And when we're being turned down on those fights and we're scrambling to get other fights in the place, it's very time consuming. So we're not spending as much time promoting as we are matchmaking. So if we take the lead of Montreal, and the costs associated uh, with the events in Montreal, Ontario would be where Montreal is now, for sure. Is that kind of a model that you look at when you look at how things are in Quebec, uh, and you see that they have these homegrown stars who have followings? Because yeah. now, you know, the one fire that you have under sort of an agreement is Denton Daly, who yes. clearly draws in, in Mississauga. Yeah. Yeah. Is that kind of what you look at and say, we need those type of stars? Well, you know, I mean, I, I don't think Montreal is that, that perfect model. You know, I mean, they've, they've gone through a lot of uh, financial issues being a promoter there. You know, the, the Interbox and the transition through Interbox and, you know, with Jim. And um, they definitely have their difficulties. I think the big difference is, you know, I mean, and, and this is a big hurdle for us here today, is just the, um, the sheer amount of media support that they get in Montreal, specifically from the papers. Uh, you know, weeks leading up to the event, they'll have two or three pages. Where for us, if we approach the media being the papers, we're lucky to get a phone call back. So until the media embraces it, uh, the mainstream media anyway, boxing will stay where it's at. But with the transition of social media, um, we're seeing it starting to skyrocket, and that's what we, you know, just what we mentioned a little bit older, er, earlier, getting 6,000 people. It's becoming through those social media outlets that we're able to work with, and uh, 
So that, you know, that, that's that. Yeah. Let's, let's help them out a little bit before yeah. we wrap up then. Because okay. we mentioned Denton Daly as one guy to watch yep. out for. Obviously, he moves tickets. Who else can we look out for in the Ontario scene? Maybe some guys that you're working with that the media out there should ha maybe have a look at. Well, you, you have a great fighter in Steve Wilcox. Uh, he's got an incredible uh, amateur career. And he's going to be fighting Harrison McBain, who's sort of like a, a strong, you know, steady fighter. So he's going to be tested at, at this fight. So I'd, I'd keep an eye out for Steve Wilcox. Uh, Brandon Cook is definitely a fan favorite. Um, we're looking at him being in a Canadian title uh, fight uh, mid of next year. So we're going to see big things from him. And again, there's a whole gauntlet of young, aggressive fighters coming. And, you know, we hope to see fighters like Troy Ross come back or even maybe Steve Molitor come back and, and, and fight in the ring, you know. So it's, it's exciting times for boxing in Ontario. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to the, the growth continuing here in Ontario. Looking forward to more terrific events from United Promotions, including December 1st at the Hershey Centre. Corey Erdman here with Don McDonald.